Mel Gibson versus Oksana Grigorieva and the one man who was set to be deposed tomorrow. Well, that deposition has now been postponed due to a reported illness for the man you are about to meet. But before Oksana's former bodyguard was planning to talk to the lawyers, he talked to me in a KK Online exclusive. The highly publicized tapes of Mel Gibson's tirade, photos posted on RadarOnline.com of Oksana Grigorieva showing what she claims was alleged abuse. He's accusing her of extortion. She's claiming he was violent towards her. Question is, who do you believe? Her former bodyguard, Chris Herzog, is now revealing what he believes happened in a tell-all you'll see only on KCAL 9. I absolutely believe that she made up uh, either grossly exaggerated or simply completely fabricated almost every single charge she made against Mel Gibson. To get money. I to get big so. money. To get real big money. Herzog says he was hired by Grigorieva when she left Gibson last year. Here's what he says about the night Grigorieva claims Gibson a town term. She told me that um, the alleged allegations that were made against Mel Gibson on January 6, 2010 that she had come home from a basketball game and that he had been upset with her and that he had choked, allegedly choked, punched her several times in the face, choked her, uh, pulled out a gun, pointed at her head, brandished a firearm, uh, threateningly and extensively at her, and then basically physically chased her out of the house. Herzog claims when Grigorieva moved out of Gibson's home, she taped her conversations with Gibson. He claims these recorded messages, first obtained by the website RadarOnline.com, showing an angry Gibson ranting is not the full picture. Mel Gibson called her at her home in Studio City, and um, they had conversations that lasted the whole day. Um, Oksana's count to me, I believe, was around 40 conversations. Uh, you've heard nine tapes of 40 conversations. Uh, what I came to learn towards the end of our relationship, uh, that in fact, um, there were quite a few conversations in which Mel Gibson was calm, and in fact trying to calm her down, and trying to work this out. Oksana's uh, initial story was, was that she taped him because she was in fear for her life, and she was documenting a crime, which is the only time in the state of California that you can legally tape someone without their consent. But I don't believe that's the, the true case in these tapes. Herzog does believe that in the dispute between Mel Gibson and Oksana Grigorieva, there is more than meets the eye. She sat down with me at her laptop and showed me hundreds of photos and dozens and dozens of videos of their private home life. And I saw Mel Gibson like the world used to see Mel Gibson uh, before his um, unfortunate comments on the tapes, which was a loving husband, father, boyfriend, it was commendable and, and actually uh, awe-inspiring. We really saw love there. And that, through the hundreds of pictures and dozens and dozens of videos she showed me, you really saw a different side of Mel than we heard on the tapes. As for the reported $15 million settlement Gibson would pay Gregorieva, Herzog claims she didn't think it was enough. She told me explicitly that the reason she said the things that she said and the reason she did the things that she did were in fact to get some type of retribution from Mel Gibson for the perceived wrongs that he committed against her. The description that was thrown out in one conversation was Tiger Woods money. That's what Oksana said to you. She wanted Tiger Woods money. It came up a couple times in conversation, yes. After seven months together, Herzog and Grigorieva parted ways because he says he didn't agree with her legal strategy. You've been subpoenaed yes. by Mel Gibson's attorneys. Do you plan to testify? Yes. Why are you doing this? It's the right thing to do. Sources close to Grigorieva tell me Herzog is a liar with a criminal record. Lawyers for both Oksana Grigorieva and Mel Gibson are remaining tight-lipped tonight. Now, tomorrow night, you're going to hear about Herzog's alleged affair with Grigorieva and why now he's publicly turning against her. Is this a case of a jilted lover angry at a Oksana? Hear what he had to say tomorrow night at 10 o'clock in part two of my exclusive interview with Oksana's former bodyguard, Chris Herzog. This uh, story gets strange by the minute. Yeah. I mean, I've been watching you every day, uh, working the story like crazy. You've been on the phones nonstop. But, but today, with the, with the bodyguard's uh, illness all of a sudden, 
You'll know Skitties are more, you can talk to us about that. Well, I learned uh, from a source close to, to the Oksana uh, team that uh, he had, uh, they had postponed the deposition because he reportedly called in sick. Now then, um, a few minutes later, I get a text from a friend of hers on telling me that he's ill. And that's it. So there you go. Stay tuned tomorrow night. It'll be interesting.